Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chibet and this is my first YouTube video. I'm okay. okay. This is Rono's first YouTube video, published on 14th December 2018. And from this first video, it was evident that she was destined for greatness. She was bold, charismatic and funny. Let's say she had all the essentials needed to become the next superstar. Not just in Kenya, but internationally like Elsa Majimbo. And we'll talk about Elsa Majimbo later in the video. Others even argued that she had better content than Elsa Majimbo. I'm looking cute, I'm looking tasty, I'm looking expensive and not affordable. And I know you want to slide in my DM if you'd like to do that. My handle is at Ronald.h. You may send your nudes and I might, <laughs> might, might consider just going on a date with you. <laughs> so why did she not go international? As someone who's genuinely a huge fan of Ronald's content, I decided to do some research on why her career stalled. I know there's a lot of things that people have said and she also talked about, but first, let's take a look at the things she did right. Remember to like this video and subscribe. Now before you continue, let me tell you something that can change your life. I believe making money shouldn't be hard in 2024 and that is why Pocket Broker is here. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Pocket Broker offers everything you need for a seamless trading experience. And by seamless, this is what I mean. It is a seamless and user-friendly platform with multiple graphics, flexible settings, and a range of languages that makes trading seamless and enjoyable. It allows you to create your account in minutes. No complex verification. You just sign up and you're ready to trade. Once you make your profits, there's 0% commission for withdrawals, so you don't have to worry about added fees or charges, and you can choose from multiple withdrawal methods for your convenience. You can also join daily tournaments with free entry and a prize pool of to $50. It also offers different trading modes, whether it's quick trading, stock trading, or forex, and you'll have access to over 130 assets, so you can trade currency, uh, pairs, indices, stocks, and even cryptocurrencies and get up to 92% profits. Just imagine. And the best part is that you can trade anytime, anywhere, 24-7. So don't wait. Start trading with Pocket Broker today. Get the app on Google Play or click the link down below to register and use my promo code ONGORI100 to get a 100% bonus on your first deposit of $10 or more. Wishing you all the best on your trading journey. No when to hold on. Well when to speak go when the people gotta be. You gotta go. Chicky chicky my bill, chicky my bill. Oh, come on. You got Before we even get here, we first need to understand where she came from because that had an impact on her life later on. We know her as Chebet Rono, but her full name is Deborah Chebet Rono, or the way some say it, Deborah. Deborah is a name she got from her mother. When her mother was pregnant, she wanted to get a daughter, and she was certain that she'd give birth to a daughter, and her name would be Prophetess Deborah. This is a name I believe she got from the Bible, in case you believe in the Bible and you read it. Deborah is one of the most influential women of the Bible and the only female judge mentioned in the Bible, and you can confirm. Anyway, the name Deborah was a special and powerful name. It seems the mother was sure her daughter would become powerful and that actually happened, and we'll get there. Rono's childhood was not that smooth, and that experience later affected her when she grew older. Her father left her when she was only three years old, and that means the mother was left to fend for the family. It was not easy. It was a struggle. Rona was also often criticized, like being told to lose weight and being forced to act in a certain way, which affected how she saw the world. So I can say my childhood really affected how I see the world, mm -hmm. especially when it came to my self-worth and my self-esteem. She was also the ugly friend. She never felt desirable. She never felt loved. When I was younger, I was the ugly friend. Mm -hmm. like, so I was at, uh, what's it called? Duff the mm -hmm. dove. So guys would often come to me to go to my friends and so I never felt desirable, I never felt loved. Anyway, this letter changed. This is Rono in 2024. 
she is not ugly and she is very desirable. Anyway, Chebetrono attended what is considered some of the best schools in Kenya. I'm going to give out all the schools I went to. So school was Makini and then after Makini I left because your school fees was like a million shillings. Uh, <laughs> I went to a school called Stashik. I finished my class 8 in Stashik and then I went to Kenya High. And then I finished in Kenya High and then I went to Brookhouse to do an additional course which it abounds. Hey, that shit is hard. So you know what I did? After Brookhouse, I was like, I'm, I, I'll stay home and wash rice, mom. She didn't just stay home and wash rice. She was creating content and entertaining her audience. This is something that her mother didn't understand at first, but this became the thing that changed her life. Rono posted her first YouTube video in December 2018, and in just five months, she garnered over 25,000 subscribers. Unlike most female content creators who focus on having perfect videos with makeups and perfect lighting, Rono's videos were raw, just her talking to the camera, no makeup, no lighting. All she had was a camera and a sense of humor. This is the place now where my mother we just class. Yani, she just decided, you know what, I'll call this daughter of mine, Debra. Do you know we have Chloe, we have Faith, we have Michelle, you could even call me Jane. I have no problem with Jane, but no, Debra. And funny enough, it has an O. What is the O doing there? It's just like, I'm silent. And this, in some way, caught people's attention. And it was evident on the comments. She's my current best YouTuber in Kenya. This girl makes my day. Damn, this talent is on another level. We need you on TV like yesterday. Please upload more videos. There's something about you we don't see in Kenyan YouTubers and Rono uploaded more videos and the format was the same no makeup no lighting just Rono doing what she loved talking about random things that she found interesting this is the second video she posted on youtube in the video she's prank calling celebrities like Wabosha Magzin, Eddie Butita and Pascal Tokodi you will be shooting the video uh but as naked but as naked Yes. Wow. This prank calling is what made her to blow up. People loved the video for the simple fact that she was not just funny but creative. A fan even commented that this is by far the most entertaining YouTube channel. Ron even tried making skits like here, where she made a skit about how it feels like to live in an African home. <laughs> She also hosted celebrities like Benzema or Alejandro and Andrew Kibe. Weirdest thing a fan has ever said or done to you. Mr. Chiku came and grabbed me by my balls. Oh my god. Oh, best night of my life. I was like, oh, that's how you're supposed to do it. Best night. Thank you, Kathy. Initially, Chebetrono didn't expect the videos to go viral. That was not even her plan. She only wanted to make people happy through comedy. But you can't control how people will react when they like you or your content. She was getting famous day by day, which was a blessing and also a curse. Her social media channels grew and she began to endorse many brands through advertisements on her YouTube and Instagram account. In May 2019, Rono secured a position at Energy Radio as a mid-morning presenter, co-hosting alongside Charlie Karumi after replacing Elodie Zon, and she became the youngest radio presenter in Kenya at that time. That was a great milestone. Rono later quit the job to focus on her brand. She later mentioned that the job was overwhelming and she was not passionate about it. After departing from Energy Radio in April 2020, she got another job towards the end of 2020 where she joined Homebo's radio. There she was co-hosting the breakfast show dubbed The Liftoff alongside Jimani and Neville. Rono was navigating her way through the media industry extremely well and it seems that all Rono had to do from there was to keep pushing. But yet again, she left Homebo's radio. She reported to work just a few weeks before disappearing, then finally resigned. According to Rono, she accepted the offer to work for Homeboys Radio, but didn't have time to think about it. 
She went on to say that after working for a few weeks and realizing she's not getting any happier, she decided to leave. And that was the best decision she made. I loved radio mm -hmm. in the sense of I loved the job, how accessible and easy and networking mm -hmm. aspect. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I don't think it was my passion. Okay. So then I, I kind of took, I took the fact that I was good at it mm -hmm. for sh I should do it. Yeah. You know when you're mm -hmm. good at something, like, you should be doing this, bro. You're yeah. really good. At but like, I'm not passionate about it, and yeah. I know there are people who are really passionate about stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, radio like that, mm -hmm. and I just didn't have it. Yeah. Otherwise, it was a great experience. Yeah. And I probably would go back. Yeah. I mean, Getting into radio was not the only achievement. At the age of 19, she earned a first million. 19 years, she's a millionaire. And that is proof that you should start creating content. And making pranks is not content creation. Be creative, do something different. <laughs> anyway, in 2019, she was listed among the top 25 women in digital, which is another great milestone. A radio job is one of the most lucrative jobs in Kenya. Rono got the chance to work in not just one, but two radio stations in Kenya, the biggest ones. So why was she quitting just months after getting employed? What was wrong with Rono? And this is where the problems began. So pay attention. Rono began making content in 2018 and in just one year, she was famous. And this is evident by the fact that she got a job at Energy Radio and later joined Homeboys Radio. According to Rono, things were moving too fast and she wasn't prepared for that. She was on the radio but she felt very unhappy. She felt like she didn't want to do it at that time of her life. It was overwhelming for her and she started getting anxious a lot. She would panic whenever people noticed her because she didn't know how to respond and what side of her to show. And this in turn gave her bad anxiety. And she had to do something about it. She had to counter the anxiety. And so she started drinking alcohol. Drinking was the only way she managed to get comfortable around people. It all started as a casual habit, but she became dependent on alcohol to the point that she struggled to maintain both her professional and personal relationships. Anxiety was not the only thing she dealt with. She was fighting depression, trauma, and also cyberbullying. Through her YouTube channel, Rona revealed that high school was traumatizing. If you are in high school or, um, yeah, if you're in high school, I'm really, I'm really, really sad for you, especially if you're in a Kenyan system. I don't know what to tell you other than survive, 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 just survive, survive, we need you. Another difficult experience she faced was her relationship. She once revealed that she dated a 33-year-old man and she was only 20 years old at that time. The man was very abusive. It was a physical relationship. They argued over small things and she would be strangled over nothing. According to Rono, she didn't know it was abuse at first because she didn't know what love looked like. And she blamed that on her upbringing. Another thing that depressed Rono was the constant comparison to Elsa Majimbo. Rono was bothered by the fact that many people kept associating her content to Elsa Majimbo's content. And do you think so, like your content goes hand in hand with Elsa Majimbo's as well? As you saying that? 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 Ah! <laughs> it's Ika, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, these two have an almost similar comedy style and it's not clear who started first. So, let's try to find out. Chebetrona began a YouTube channel in December 2018 and Elsa Majimbo posted her first YouTube video in December 2019. So that's one year later after Rono began making videos on YouTube. So can we say Elsa Majimbo stole Rono's style of comedy? Or let's use a better word, she was inspired by Rono's content. Maybe. But Elsa Majimbo has a different story. In this interview with Shafiweru in 2020, Majimbo addressed reports of being compared to Rono stating that she started making content before Rono, but Rono became famous first. I, I started before Rono, but I blew up after her. And people get that so confused. And they act like the fact that I'm in this space means that there's no space for her, or the fact that she's in this place, space, there's no space for me. She might be saying the truth because Rono posted her first video on Instagram on 27th December 2017, 
and Elsa Majimbo posted a first video on Instagram on 6th August 2017. But all in all, they all got popular. Rono got popular locally and Majimbo went international. She now lives in the US. Some people still mock Elsa Majimbo saying she was not funny, she was just lucky, but she's now in the US and you're in Muyoko. The comparison to Elsa Majimbo was something she didn't like. She was constantly trolled, others telling her Elsa stole her shine. And Rono, in some way, decided to address the issue. I'm calling everybody out. Kid actress, stop copying me. Elsa Majimbo, stop copying me. What do you mean? What do you mean? You're out of, you're out of, you're out of material? In March 2023, she also posted on X accusing Kate actress Elsa Majimbo and Shonara of stealing her content without crediting her. Rono alleged that Kate Actress and Elsa Majimbo have been stealing her ideas. She also posted on Instagram asking Kate to respect her content. And Kate responded, telling Rono that she is an incredible, consistent content creator and she celebrates Rono. Rono didn't just attack Kate Actress, she called out Nikita Kering for bullying her and sending her into depression. Just to mention, Rono featured Nikita Kering on her YouTube channel in March 2019. So why was she attacking Nikita? This is what she posted. Nikita Kering texted me a whole lot of nothing back in 2019 bullying me. You aren't as good as your PR makes you to be. I remember I never made Nikita Kering a friend. I've always been close to Max, her brother, who is a darling by the way. This texted me a paragraph of how I'll fall and never make it because I was depressed. Nikita Kering never responded, but Shonara responded saying she wasn't going to involve herself in such conversations. While others agreed on what she was saying, many people criticized Rono, saying she should be happy they are coping her cause it shows you are good. Fact is, she started it then lost momentum. Elsa overtook her because she was lazy, not motivated. Consistency wins any day. Others thought that she was just bitter. Rono's former PA or personal assistant Michelle also spoke about the issue in this interview with Nicolas Kiyoko in March 2023. Michelle said that Rono should be grateful to Kate Actress for using a hashtag instead of accusing her of stealing her content. She added that Rono had gone through depression before and that she had been to a rehab center for using drugs. She then said that Rono mental health shouldn't be an excuse for her to drag people's names through the mud. And I get it, you've gone through depression, you've gone through other things, and mental health is not an excuse to drag other beautiful women on the mud, whether they are celebrities or not, because I also feel like you dragged my time and my energy. And so are other people who I go to earthy with, but I don't think they are ready to speak. Rona would later announce that she's taking a break from social media and apologized to everyone she had offended. She then shared a video where she told her fans that she got into therapy. She revealed that she had talked to the therapist about a substance abuse problem and it seems that she had decided to change her life for the better. She confirmed that she was already suffering from mental health issues and adding alcoholism on top of that made it worse. In July 2023, she posted this video where she opened up about her struggle with alcoholism. She openly shared how alcohol had led her to the rehab not once but twice and even landed her in the hospital multiple times. Recovering from addiction was not easy. It was a challenging process but Rona decided to be sober, not just for a few days but for many years. In September 2023, Rona was interviewed by Lynn Googie. In the interview, she appeared quite different. She seemed more vibrant and content, openly discussing various topics without fear. She talked about overcoming self-sabotage and shared a struggle with imposter syndrome, revealing that she was scared of success. She didn't believe she deserved the opportunities she got. She got opportunities and she ignored. I was so scared of my light and people would, um, not people, like I would get opportunities and I would postpone them. I would ignore these emails. I would not show up in the fear of just, I don't know if I can handle it. Am I really the real one? She also talked about her struggle with alcohol, saying at first she denied she had a problem and after rehab, she went back to alcoholism. 
according to her, Haigo didn't allow her to accept that she had a problem. But then she went to rehab for the second time, and this time, it was voluntarily. She also claimed the industry is brutal. Most female celebs treated her like a threat, and Andrew Kibe showed her love. Kibe was genuine, kind, and supportive. This may sound odd, but it was Kibe was willing to guide her in the industry, showing her how to make money from the content. Regarding comparisons to fellow content creator Elsa Majimbo, Rono now had a different perspective, a new perspective about Elsa Majimbo, saying that she can't blame Elsa. Elsa took the opportunities and she didn't, and that Elsa Majimbo deserves it. If Elsa Majimbo can succeed, her time will come too. I can't blame her. I can't... Um, what's the word? I can't even tell her not to take up. She took the... Um, she took the opportunities. I didn't. I did not. Opportunities are coming, I'm ignoring them. She stepped in her light mm. confidently. I didn't. Mm. So everything she has, I think she's much more earned. Mm -hmm. And she deserves them in one way or another. Mm -hmm. And they have nothing to do with me. Good. It's not my journey. Good. It's not my lane. Yeah. It's just something similar. Mm. We're doing the similar craft, mm. but we're two different people. Yeah. Currently, she seems to be doing okay. She lost over 30 kgs on her weight loss journey. And she looks good now, as you can see. She often posts on her social media platforms. And it's clear that she does not want to stop doing what she loves the most. There's no debating that Rono is one of the greatest content creators in Kenya. And I believe she still has the talent and the time to rewrite her story. She's just 24 years old. Comment what you think about Debra Chebet Rono. Make sure you guys like this video and most importantly, subscribe. Let's meet on the next video.